What's up everybody and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. Today we're gonna be talking about our 13.11 climbing tier list. My name is Nathan Ng and as a reminder this list isn't about the most powerful champions. It's about the easiest and most impactful champions that simultaneously allow for plenty of errors along the way. Speaking of errors, if you want to get rid of typical errors in your gameplay you should click the link in the description below. A cascade of premium content awaits you and all of that for just $9.99 built monthly. If you want to know more about all the services that we provide make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. As a cherry on top. If you go pro, make sure to drop your username in the comment section below. You might be able to win more than 11,000 RP. And don't worry if you don't happen to win this time, we do this every single patch. And you know how often Riot loves to bat. Anyway, before we get started, don't forget, lower elo tier lists don't change as frequently, as it requires massive changes to a champion's identity to make them easier or harder to play while taking their skill ceiling and floor into account. All right, let's get this one started with our top lane tier list for 13.11. First, let's take a look at our placements and check if you can spot your main. All right, now that that's done, let's move over to our first highlighted champion. Scion has unparalleled prowess as a weak side champion. His game presence is terrifying, and believe it or not, his power just grows even after he has been killed. Thanks to his passive glory and death, he can clear waves and collect leftover creeps, keeping pressure up even in death. Itemization is super crucial for Scion, and the real power spike comes with Scion's most dominant item combination, Sunfire into Heartseal, followed by Holebreaker and finished with a Titanic Hydra. This item set will turn you into an absolute wrecking ball. Now, here's a friendly warning for the enemy team. If you leave Scion alone, you're in for a bad time. With his potent pushing power, he's capable of bringing down your entire base in no time. And if you're planning to shut him down, remember that he can clear the wave even after dying and might even trade a kill for his life. The next highlight is an old menace of the top lane, and it is Orn. This champion does way too much damage for the fact that he's a tank and even a literal tank killer. Kane in his Ross form even has trouble dealing with this friendly ramp. On top of this, there's also his unique characteristic of not having to recall to buy items and being able to enhance his allies and his own mythics as well. His benefits don't even end with that. His ability to engage is absolutely absurd. Call of the Forge God is an incredible tool for setting up team fights. This ability summons a massive fire elemental that not only damages but also knocks up enemies if Orn manages to connect the second blow. So when you're playing Orn, make sure that you utilize your surroundings as best as you can. Narrow corridors or areas with limited space are the best positions for him to fight in. Your crowd control and damage will be the variables that will tip the scales into your favor. Let's make sure the jungle stays favorable towards you as we're going to be taking a look at our jungle tier list. As per usual, take a look first and let's move into action. The first champion that we're going to be talking about is Udyr. He's one of these champions that just turn into an unbelievably tanky demon that just runs around the map and wreaks havoc. With a typical demonic embrace rush and a dark seal in his inventory, this champion just takes over. However, he's not as easy to play as many people make him out to be. To make this champion work, you don't need a degree. But if you want to really excel at him, then you should take a look at all the different combos that he can go for. Which empowerment for what situation and how to properly maneuver your characters are what increases this champion's skill ceiling by a lot. There are also other options when it comes to your jungle clear. Rather than starting with your red buff, what about starting with your rapture camp just to put it on cooldown? With that, you can cycle your camps more effectively effectively and efficiently and not lose out on that precious XP nor gold. In case you didn't know, the Raptor camp is mainly treated as an XP camp and therefore super precious for junglers. Another jungler that has a higher skill ceiling comes in the form of Kha'Zix. The rework from Ghostblade really pushed him over the edge and made him an absolute menace on the rift. Even after the nerf, it's still a really problematic item when it comes to this champion. Depending on how you want to play him, the skill ceiling can really change drastically. The bonus movement speed that he gets from Ghostblade allows him to go for consecutive plays and puts him in a spot in which he'd normally not get into. But don't forget that this champion still requires far more from you than other champions within the same tier. Features more damage, but on the flip side, dies equally as fast, while his early game isn't the most potent. However, you can do something to find more impact early on. A lot of Cossacks players like to just go in for a 3 camp clear into a gank or an evade. Often they clear one side of the jungle to gain access to all the spells, and then they go for a little cheesy gank to try to annoy the enemy in their jungle. This obviously entails a certain level of risk, but if you're aware of the enemy's potential pathing options, you can recall quickly enough to protect your other side of the jungle. As you can already imagine, these junglers love mid laners with priority or decent footing in lane. So let's take a look at our mid lane tier list for this patch. 
Let's start off with Tristana. Again, another champion that is rather simple in its idea, but very powerful. The better you are with her, the more likely you are to snowball when you're ahead. Even if you're not ahead, you're still posing a massive threat to the enemy, as your damage is both DPS and burst at the same time. In the early stages of the game, Tristana's main damage comes obviously from auto attacks, but depending on your rune choice, you'll have access to burst damage as well. If you're running Halo Blades into champions that you can recklessly trade into, you may cheese for the typical level 2 all-in. This in combination with adding another stack of your bomb to your rocket jump makes it rather easy when it comes to killing an enemy. Alternatively, you can look into other AD assassins if you need some AD damage for your team. But playing assassins is usually more difficult than ranged carries. Don't forget, Trisana also has assassin capabilities with her bomb combo. Nonetheless, we cannot really be silent about what comes next. You all know that mages were a great winner of the recent patch. Lost Chapter is cheaper, and you'll have it far earlier than you're used to. Adding Futures Market to that makes it very difficult to be bullied out of lane now. Now. With this acceleration, you have an even easier time piloting any mage in the middle or bot lane. But for this example, we're going to be talking about Vagar. Controlling the zone and looking for opportunities to burst the enemy are the key when it comes to playing him. With the buffed Rabbit on Seth Cap and overall an accelerated lost chapter, this champion gets power a lot faster than he used to. Following the item sequence of Everfrost into Rabidons into a Void Staff or maybe even a Cosmic Drive depending on the enemy's magic resist will provide you and your team with everything that you need. Cosmic Drive even plays very well into what Vagar wants to do. Set up a fight with the Cage and Everfrost, and then zoom around to look for a better position. Oh, and that item has a lot of stats Vagar desires. A super high AP value, a lot of ability haste, and a bucket load of movement speed. Don't forget that this item exists, it's so broken. Before we look into someone else who's also broken, we'll call the curtains on this one and take a look at our AD carry tier list in its entirety first. To give you a fitting performance for the AD carry role, we want to open the show with Jin. The new Storm Razor, even after its nerf, is still an item that Jin really much desires. Then you're able to transition that into Infinity Edge instantly after that, and then complement that with either Rapid Fire Cannon or Lord Dominic's regards, depending on what you need first. Adding Bloodthirster after this turns him into a mobile nexus, literally one tapping anybody on site. So be careful, this guy really hurts like my last relationship. Alternatively to this one, you can also exchange Infinity Edge with Gale Force and again, some extra mobility if needed. Right before we take a look at our other pick, I just want to make Make something clear. Champions such as Kalissa have been receiving a lot of changes, and specifically this patch, it's a massive buff, but you need to pay close attention. This list isn't intended for the upper echelons of the ladder. It's about a combination of easy to play champions featuring high impact with more room for error compared to the highly mechanical champions, or reliance on teammates that are just consistent. There are also new builds emerging that feature Trinity Force on AD carries, but this mostly applies to higher elo picks such as Zeri, Lucian, and Ash. If you want to know more about this, you need to watch our high elo tier list. Anyway, let's go back to our other pick for the ADC role. If you remember our selection from OP to S tier picks, you see that there's a lot of mages. Which one do you like? Do you need Sustain to keep your team well shielded and healed up with Seraphine, or would you rather have your Requiem take over the entire game as Karthus? Maybe you want to throw in some bombs and annoy people with Ziggs, who knows? How about the recently buffed Swain? They're all amazing choices that you can opt into for whatever purpose you seem fit. Oh, and they really work well into our AD, OP, or S tier picks when it comes to just keeping them at bay or taking their HP away before the fight even starts. For the last part of this video, we're now taking a look at the supports again. And here we have had a pretty interesting list of changes for items in 13.10. The meta for high elo and overall approaches as to how people build champions have changed quite a bit, but for the lower elos, not as much. We pretty much still have a similar distribution of power with more defined strengths and more glaring weaknesses with the item update. So let's take a look first. Really grabbing our attention first comes Blitzcrank, and this robot is a force to be reckoned with. Utilizing the power of Hex Flash and Glacial Augment turns this champion, and basically most other hook champions, into deadly foes. What do you have to do with them? All you have to do is trade your normal flash with an enemy's flash and start hiding in brushes. Hex Flash on cooldown and hunt them down as your Glacial Augment is available. They won't be able to get away from you unless you're trying to constantly play around this potential threat or are stronger than you. It literally is that easy most of the time, unless you want to make it more complicated. For roams, you can also apply the same idea as anybody who runs Hex Flash. Avoid typical ward spots for that extra flash and approach plays from unexpected angles. 
For our second highlight, we'll talk about Sona. Sona's biggest weakness is getting through the laning phase, but given that we're looking at a different elo bracket, it's more than likely that you'll be going through laning phase with absolute ease. The recent nerfs to Echoes of Helia made the item a bit weaker, but it was absolutely overbearing anyway. Now that Moonstone is buffed, you have another option that you can look into now. But if you're allowed to deal damage, then Echoes of Helia will still be your go-to item. Other items of Sona were also hit by a small nerf when it comes to buffing allies. Ardent has been tuned down a bit, but it's still a super cheap and broken option for Sona but getting to that point was often unrealistic anyway. However, Staff wasn't nerfed at all, which makes it really interesting for Sona. Echoes of Hylia, Dark Seal, and Staff of Flowing Water turns Echo into an aura bot that you never want to miss. For our last highlight, we'll showcase Heimerdinger. As you may know, people love to space out and not pay attention and mindlessly walk into brushes, especially if there are no hook champions in the game. As you all know, people love to space out and not pay attention and mindlessly walk into brushes, especially if there are no hook champions or engaged champions in the game. They're so incredibly conditioned to this fact that they just kind of blank out on the fact that Heimerdinger kills you quite fast if you happen to face check him. Alongside this, he also provides a decent counter engage tool with his empowered grenade and a lot of extra DPS when it comes to taking objectives. Next to this, you also have an added layer of defense with his turret setup and the option to always push into the enemy lane. That enables you to bully them under tower or your jungler to go for a proactive play on your side of the map. But be mindful champions such as Annie, which are absolutely broken right now, deal really well with your champion. Do you want to know more about certain matchups and who counters them? Um, click the link in the description below and go pro. $9.99 build monthly grants you access to the best content provided by some of the most prestigious players Lee has to offer. X Smithy, Core JJ, Sneaky, Double Lift, name them, we have them. All right, join now and leave your username in the description below to have a chance at winning more than 11,000 RP every single patch. And that's it for today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you want more pro guides content, make sure you come back with a like, comment, and subscribe. All right, with all that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and you guys know the drill. Have a wonderful day. Peace.